Hello there. Thank you for joining me for today's practice. My name is Paula. So today's sequence is uh, just, it's a sun salutation or the Surya Namaskar A and B. It's a very simple practice. We'll do both variations a few times and then just do a couple of poses down on the mat. So this is a really great practice as an everyday practice, something that you probably would pick up quite quickly if you do a few times and then you can just do it anytime, anywhere. So it's lovely to have this in your back pocket to pull out when you feel like you need a practice. Let's make a start standing. If you feel like it's too much to go straight into the sun salute, you might do a little bit of a warm up beforehand, but if you can, we're just gonna start straight into the sun salute. So coming into your Tadasana, but let's just start with our feet hip distance apart to begin with, bringing the palms, the hands together in front of your chest and then closing down the eyes. Taking some time here to come into the body, noticing your breathing. Noticing where you're at right now. And whatever is here for you, so welcoming it in. last few moments here. And then let's open up the eyes, releasing the arms down by your side. You can keep the feet hip distance apart, but if it's available, you might bring the feet side by side. Arms down, palms facing forward. Take an inhale to reach up through the arms, looking up towards the thumbs, ground down through the feet. And then exhale, forward fold into your Uttanasana, feeling free to bend through the knees as much as you need to here, letting the head relax down. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Hands can come to the shin bones or just fingertips staying down. And then exhale, fold and bend the knees to step back into your plank position. Pressing the mat away, gazing towards the top edge of the mat. Take an inhale, exhale, come down to the knees, release the tops of the feet down, bend the elbows straight back to come all the way down. Hands by the ribs, squeeze the elbows in, coming into your baby cobra, lifting the kneecaps off, inhale, and then exhale back through the knees in your tabletop, tuck the toes under, back into your down facing dog. Steady gaze with the eyes in between the ankles. And five breaths here. Sealing down through the inner edges of the hands. Trying to lengthen out through both sides of the waist. Softening through the, the knees, look forward towards the hands, stepping one foot forward and then the other foot forward. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press down through the feet, reaching up through the arms. Palms, hands come together and then exhale back to your Tadasana. And again, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back into your plank position. Taking an inhale. Exhale, down to the knees, tops the feet down, releasing down. Inhale, into your baby cobra or maybe a little bit higher. Press down through the tops of the feet. And then exhale, back through your tabletop, tucking the toes under, down facing dog. Settling into your down dog. And if it's possible, trying to find stillness in the body and with your gaze, the breath just moving throughout the body. Gently thinking about that navel drawing in and up against the spine.
One more full breath. Softening through the knees, look forward towards the hands. Just stepping one foot forward and then the other foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Pressing down through the feet, reach the arms up. Inhaling, palms together. Exhale, back to Tadasana. And one more round like this. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bending the knees, stepping back into your plank position, taking an inhale. Exhaling, option to keep the knees off now if you feel like you can lower down to your chaturanga and either lowering down into your cobra or coming into your up facing dog, looking straight ahead or you can look straight up, lifting through the belly or come back through your tabletop to come back into your down facing dog. Steady the gaze, focus on the breath. Drawing the quadriceps up. Try to relax the muscles at the base of the neck. Softening through the knees and you can step or if it feels available, you might hop forward, take an inhale into your halfway lift and exhale fold. Pressing down through the feet, coming up to standing, palms, hands together, exhale back into your Tadasana. So moving into our Surya Namaskar B now, bending through the knees, sweeping the arms up into your Utkatasana, inhale, looking to the thumbs, palms can be together or shoulder distance apart. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, soften through the knees, stepping back into your plank position. Inhale, option for Chaturanga or knees down. Inhale, Cobra or your up facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Bring the left heel to the right inner edge of that right foot, stepping the right foot forward towards the right hand and coming up into Virabhadrasana one. Palms coming together, take an inhale, exhale, circling the arms down, frame the front foot, step back into your plank position, inhale, exhale, Chaturanga, inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale, down dog. Bring the right heel to the inner edge of that left foot, stepping that left foot forward. Virabhadrasana one, inhale, exhale, arms down, frame the front foot, step back, plank position, inhale, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, five breaths. Trying to slow down the breathing. Softening through the knees, looking forward towards the hands. Either step or hop. Uttanasana, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees. Sweeping up, Utkatasana, inhale, exhale, Tadasana. And again, inhale, Utkatasana, exhale, Uttanasana, inhale, halfway lift, exhale. You can step or hop back into your plank position, inhaling, exhale, Chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel comes in, step the right foot forward. Virabhadrasana one, inhale. Exhaling, step back to plank. And if you can, keep lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right heel in, left foot forward. 
Warrior one, inhale. Exhale. Plank down through Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Softening through the knees, look forward towards the hands, either step or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees. Utkatasana, inhale. Exhaling. Tadasana, just one more round. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Keep lowering Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel in, right foot forward. Warrior one, inhaling. Exhale, all the way down through your, your flow. Right heel in. Left foot forward, warrior one. And vinyasa all the way back into your down facing dog. Five breaths in your down dog. Steady gaze, slow down your breathing. Softening through the knees, look forward towards the hands, either step or hop forward. Inhaling, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, sweep up, Utkatasana, inhale, and then exhaling. Tadasana. Just opening the feet out as wide as the hips. Hands onto the waist, take an inhale to lengthen up. And then as you exhale, folding forward. Taking hold of the big toes with the first two fingers. Take an inhale, lengthen out through the waist. Exhale, folding down. Just the way you can, elbows out to the side. I'm trying to draw the quadriceps up. Allowing the back of the neck to relax and the head to just hang. And you slow down the breathing. Shifting the weight slightly forward on the balls of the feet. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. Either repeat or let's come into our Padahasasana. Toes all the way up towards the wrists, taking an inhale and then exhale, folding back down. Just one more full breath here. And then take an inhale into your halfway lift. Just releasing the hands out and stepping back just into a very short down facing dog. Come down to the knees, just sitting back so you can release the legs all the way out. And then we're going to lie down onto the back, <clears throat> bringing the feet hip distance apart. Just taking a moment just in your back with the shoulder heads drop down. And then let's come up into Setha Bandhasana, taking an inhale to peel the spine off, lifting the hips up. And you could have your arms, just palms facing down, or if it's available, interlacing through the fingers, creeping up onto the tips of the shoulders. 
finding the breath. Lengthening the tailbone away from you in between the, in between the knees. Taking one more inhale, lift the hips up and then exhale, releasing the arms. Bringing the soles of the feet together and letting the knees drop open, coming into your Supta Baddha Konasana, closing down the eyes, if that feels good. Starting to surrender the weight of the body. And just allowing gravity here to take hold of the legs. Noticing if there's any way you can let go, especially on the exhale. There's two more full breaths here. bringing the knees back up towards the ceiling and then extending one leg out at a time, just moving into your Shavasana, making any adjustments to make yourself feel comfortable, make sure that you're warm enough. It's completely surrendering the weight of the body. Resting here for the next couple of minutes. Please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you would like to. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Namaste.